Good day, dear viewers. Transhumanism is a movement that aims to push the boundaries of human capabilities through the use of technology and scientific advancements. Think of it as humanity's attempt to break free from the shackles of our biological limitations. We're talking about enhancements that would make Superman do a double take. While some of you may be dreaming of soaring through the skies with rocket boots or gaining the intellectual prowess of Sherlock Holmes, there's a deeper question we must ponder. Is it truly possible to make a rational and informed choice to enhance ourselves? Well, hold on tight, because we're about to dive headfirst into this philosophical rabbit hole. Now, you might be wondering, what kind of enhancements are we talking about here? Well, hold on to your hats because we're about to enter the realm of bionic limbs, brain-computer interfaces, genetic engineering, and even the holy grail of immortality. Yeah, you heard me right, immortality. These transhumanists are dreaming big, my friends. The idea behind transhumanism is to use technology to augment our physical, cognitive, and even emotional abilities. Picture a world where we can enhance our strength to Hulk-like levels, boost our brains to become walking supercomputers, and tweak our emotions like a DJ remixing a chart-topping hit. It's like living in a sci-fi movie, but with a pinch of reality. Now, before you start booking your appointment for a cybernetic upgrade, let's take a moment to reflect on the potential implications of transhumanism. Sure. It sounds cool to have superhuman powers, but there are always two sides to every coin. We need to carefully consider the ethical, social, and existential questions that arise when we start tinkering with what it means to be human. The human enhancement discourse has captivated minds for decades, with the ethical dilemmas surrounding physical, cognitive, and emotional improvements at the forefront. Advocates argue that embracing enhancement leads to a rational path toward a brighter future, where we transcend the limitations of our species. However, a fascinating twist arises when we delve into L.A. Paul's work on transformative experiences. This twist reveals a significant obstacle that raises doubts about the possibility of making fully informed decisions. Prepare yourself for the concept of insurmountable epistemic gaps. Imagine desiring a moral or cognitive enhancement that promises extraordinary benefits. Here's the catch, these enhancements may lead to epistemic gaps of monumental proportions. Far beyond any ordinary gaps you may encounter on a tourist trip. These gaps are so vast that even the most curious minds, in their unenhanced state, cannot truly comprehend what it means to be enhanced in such a specific way. It's like gazing into an abyss of the unknown. Devoid of any reference point or frame of understanding. Now, let's consider the conundrum. If the transformative experience is crucial for grasping the value sought through enhancement, how can one be adequately informed to make a rational choice? It's akin to asking someone to navigate a maze blindfolded, without a map or any hope of guidance. So, dear viewers, we find ourselves confronting a perplexing challenge. Can we genuinely make a rational decision to undergo enhancements that lead to these transformative experiences? It's an enigma that demands our attention. But fear not, for this is just the beginning of our exhilarating expedition into the ethical labyrinth of transhumanism. There is more to unravel as we explore different facets of rationality, personal values, and their impact on the choices we make in this brave new world of enhancement. So, put on your thinking caps, tune your moral compasses, and approach this journey with a healthy dose of skepticism. We shall delve deeper into the intricacies of rationality, personal values, and their implications in this remarkable era of enhancement. This brings us to the crux of the matter. Making rational decisions necessitates considering significant information to align our actions with our preferences. However, transformative experiences introduce a dilemma. They inherently lack accessible substantial information prior to the decision to undergo them. This predicament has sparked discussions across various fields, including bioethics, covering topics such as parenthood, disability, and advanced directives. Surprisingly, these debates have not extensively encompassed the ethics and normative frameworks of human enhancement and transhumanism, despite the potential for transformative experiences in this domain. Let us delve into the argument at hand. David M. Lyrkog and Alex McEwen present three premises that question the feasibility of making a rational decision to undergo enhancements in their article titled On the Non-Rationality of Human Enhancement and Transhumanism, colon. 1. 
Normatively rational choices require the consideration of sufficient substantial information by the decision maker. 2. Transformative experiences, by their very nature, impede access to sufficient substantial information prior to the decision. 3. Human enhancements can lead to transformative experiences. Our argument builds upon the first premise, which posits that normatively rational decisions involve the thoughtful assessment of significant information. To grasp this premise and its implications for rational decision-making, we delve into normative decision theory. Normative decision theory aims to guide our choices based on what we ought to do, rather than solely on our actual behavior. According to normative decision theorists, rational decisions involve comparing probabilities and expected outcomes of different actions, ultimately selecting the option with the highest expected value. To illustrate this, David M. Lyrkog and Alex McEwen ask you to imagine participating in a game show where the goal is to maximize winnings. You are faced with two opaque boxes, one orange, fluffy, and emitting an indistinct noise, and the other purple, shiny, and producing a loud noise. Your objective is to choose the box containing the most money. Initially, without substantial information, it appears irrational to favor one box over the other. However, the rationality of the choice hinges on the accessibility of substantial information. If you later learn that fluffy boxes are more likely to hold high prizes, you gain valuable information that informs your decision. Furthermore, if you discover that purple boxes always contain the larger prize, the rational choice becomes evident. Normatively rational decision-making relies on having sufficient substantial information regarding our objectives and the probabilities associated with different choices leading to those objectives. Without such information, making rational choices becomes challenging. This brings us to the second premise of our argument, transformative experiences, by definition, are characterized by the lack of accessible substantial information before the decision to undergo them. Transformative experiences are profoundly impactful and can fundamentally alter our perception of the world and ourselves. They may transcend the realm of imagination, making it impossible to fully comprehend or anticipate their nature before experiencing them. Two interpretations arise from this notion. The first suggests that choosing transformative experiences can still be rational if adequate information is available for an informed decision. For instance, deciding to go swimming, although uncharted before the first experience, can be reasonably assessed based on comprehensive information gathered about the activity. However, the second interpretation contends that certain experiences are so immensely transformative that they defy comprehensive information gathering before making the decision. These experiences surpass the boundaries of imagination, rendering it impossible to fully grasp their essence and impact until actually undergoing them. These transformative experiences pose a challenge to rational decision-making. If we cannot access sufficient substantial information about the experience and its consequences, can we truly make a rational choice to embark on such a journey? Imagine this, you're calmly enjoying your morning coffee when, out of nowhere, you find yourself thrust into parenthood. Suddenly, your world is completely turned around. The sleepless nights, endless diaper changes, and a mix of unexplainable joy and constant worry, it's an emotional whirlwind that hits you like a freight train. According to our expert, Paul, becoming a parent isn't merely a new experience. It's an epistemically transformative one. It alters your perspective on the world and yourself, akin to discovering a new ice cream flavor that becomes your absolute favorite. Get ready, because parenthood is a life-altering adventure. It goes far beyond cute baby clothes and heart-melting smiles. It involves a deep, profound, and enduring attachment to the little human you helped bring into the world. It's like belonging to a secret club with an initiation that never ends. Your preferences take a dramatic turn. My friends. Suddenly, late-night parties are traded for early morning feedings, and your once-tidy living room becomes a mini-toy explosion. It's akin to navigating a choose-your-own-adventure book, except the choices are made for you, and there are no second chances. Parenthood is a wild journey of self-discovery. It upends your world, shaking loose all preconceived notions about yourself. Who would have thought you had the patience of a saint or the ability to function on only a few hours of sleep? It's like a profound transformation of the soul. And believe me, you won't emerge the same person you were before. So, my friends, if you're contemplating parenthood, prepare yourself for the adventure of a lifetime.
It's a roller coaster ride filled with surprises, challenges, and countless moments of pure, unfiltered happiness. Just remember, once you embark on this journey, there's no turning back. Parenthood, the ultimate test of love, patience, and your capacity to survive on caffeine alone. Imagine a world where the boundaries of human potential are stretched to unprecedented levels, where cognitive abilities and moral sensibilities reach heights unimaginable. It's akin to entering the pages of a science fiction novel, where the concept of human enhancement transcends our current understanding. Our expert argues that specific forms of human enhancement hold the potential for transformative experiences. These enhancements would propel us beyond our existing cognitive and moral limitations. Just envision possessing an IQ of 500 or a moral reasoning capacity that surpasses our current grasp. Here's where the complexity arises. While we have qualitative data on the transformative effects of extreme physical modifications, based on research involving individuals who have undergone changes such as limb loss, the same cannot be said for radical cognitive or moral enhancements. We find ourselves in uncharted territory. Much like the early days of space exploration. Reflect on the time before astronauts embarked on space missions. Our understanding of Earth's vastness and our place in the universe was limited until we ventured beyond our planet. Similarly, our comprehension of the transformative effects of radical enhancements remains restricted. We lack the data and tools to guide decisions concerning access to such enhancements. Now, let's delve into the notion of rationality. Some argue that choosing experiences that lie beyond the horizon of comprehension, such as radical enhancements, may be deemed irrational. The reasoning behind this claim is that the further we venture from our range of familiar experiences, the less meaningful those experiences become. As our ability to engage with them diminishes. It's akin to attempting to read a book written in an unfamiliar language. These arguments caution against embracing transformations that deviate from the norms of human existence. They suggest that even if the transformed state is considered qualitatively good in certain aspects, it may not be rational to opt for it, as it compromises our ability to grasp life within the boundaries of normal human society. However, here's the twist. Values differ among individuals. What one person may perceive as an objective standard of value, another may find less valuable in their unenhanced state, preferring to venture into the realm of the unknown. It's comparable to facing a buffet of choices, where some are drawn to the truly unfamiliar. Yet, let us not forget that differing values do not invalidate the premise that certain enhancements can lead to transformative experiences. It merely underscores the intricacies of rational decision-making in this domain. Opting for the unknown, with all its consequences, may not always align with rationality or hold universal applicability. As we embark on the uncharted path of human enhancement, we are confronted with uncertainties, dilemmas, and profound questions. The potential for transformation through these enhancements is awe-inspiring. Yet the rational path forward remains mysterious. In the realm of human enhancement, rational decision-making becomes an enigma. Let us momentarily set aside the question of whether it is prudent to choose radical enhancement and instead focus on a compelling argument, the likelihood of transformative experiences through these enhancements. To grasp this concept, let's engage in a thought experiment proposed by Bostrom, 2014. Imagine the vast experiential gap between humans and beetles. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? Now, extend that level of cognitive sophistication difference to the experience of an enhanced human compared to ourselves. It surpasses our imagination. This notion expands further into the realm of post-humanism and machine intelligence, where possibilities such as mind uploading, immortality, and collective cognition emerge. While it may sound like science fiction, advancements in brain-computer interfaces and brain-brain interfaces are bringing us closer to a reality where individual minds merge into a collective consciousness, a hive mind. The transformative potential of these enhancements becomes undeniable. Introducing concepts and experiences currently beyond our comprehension. Similarly, in the domain of moral enhancement, there is a belief that expanding our capacity for empathy beyond our immediate in-group can safeguard humanity from its own downfall. The idea is that by widening the scope of our empathy to encompass all of humanity, we can act in the best interests of everyone. This radical shift in moral sensibility is difficult to grasp, just like radical cognitive enhancement. 
consider individuals with diminished moral capacities, such as those with antisocial personality disorder or psychopathy. Their experiences provide glimpses into the significance of moral capacity. They describe emotions turned down, operating on a different frequency. Notably, renowned expert Kent Keel has encountered psychopaths who fundamentally lack conscience, displaying a distinct flat effect. These examples highlight that moral capacity exists on a spectrum. In principle, it can be possessed to a greater or lesser extent. Now, envision bridging the gap between a normal moral state and an enhanced one, as proposed by Person and Savulescu. Such a transition would likely result in a transformative experience, fundamentally reshaping our identity and perception of the world. Now, let's connect the dots. Our argument is built upon three premises, first, that rational choices require sufficient substantial information, second, that transformative experiences impede access to such information before the decision, and third, that human enhancements can lead to transformative experiences. If we accept these premises, as we have explored and argued, we arrive at a compelling conclusion, it may, in principle, be impossible for an agent to make a normatively rational decision to enhance oneself. The abyss of the transformative experience lies before us. Challenging the very concept of rational choice. Now, my fellow explorers, we enter a realm of deeper intrigue. If one seeks to challenge the conclusion we have reached, they must either question the premises themselves or demonstrate their inability to lead to the stated outcome. As we continue our journey, let us not forget the intricacies embedded within the choices we make. The transformative potential of human enhancements beckons us, but the path of rationality in this domain remains veiled in uncertainty. In the pursuit of transformative enhancements, it is important to clarify that not all enhancements will yield transformative experiences. Rather, it is specific forms of enhancement, such as significant moral enhancement or the creation of hive minds, that hold the potential for profound shifts in experience and identity. While some individuals may pursue transformative enhancements to explore novel mental states or simply for the allure of change, other motivations may stem from the desire to conform to social groups that have embraced these enhancements. It is noteworthy, however, that these alternative reasons have received limited attention in the literature on human enhancement and transhumanism. Nevertheless, the prospect of significant enhancements leading to transformative experiences remains a concern for proponents of radical human enhancement and transhumanism. The complete normative implications of this stance remain unclear, beyond the discomfort it may elicit. So, what practical steps should we take? One may argue that informed consent becomes elusive when normative rational choice proves unattainable in cases of significant moral enhancement or hive mind-like enhancements. The knee-jerk reaction might be to outright prohibit such enhancements. Instead, a more pragmatic approach suggests establishing standardized and improved decision-making processes to support individuals pursuing substantial self-enhancement. This could involve expanded networks of co-decision makers, increasing the likelihood of positive outcomes, whatever they may be. Valuable lessons can be drawn from existing platforms for transformative choices, such as those related to family planning, parenthood, or shared decision-making systems for individuals with dementia and their caregivers. In this manner, we can draw insights from various facets of society and the healthcare sector to develop appropriate frameworks and fortify our stance as we navigate the complexities of significant human enhancements. As enhancements grow more sophisticated and potent, it becomes increasingly crucial to carefully consider the processes of informed consent that precede these transformative experiences. Throughout our discourse, we have presented the notion that there are instances where it may be impossible for an individual to make a normatively rational decision regarding self-enhancement. We have outlined the premises supporting this argument and provided explanations for their validity. It may seem easy to brush this problem off as something for later generations to face, but the reality is much more pressing than that. For many of you watching, there will be significant leaps and advancements in the study of biology and technology within your lifetime. We know this because certain technologies that take transhumanism out of the realm of science fiction are already here. CRISPR, the revolutionary gene editing technology, has captivated the scientific community and the general public alike. It holds immense potential for advancing our understanding of genetics and offers a promising pathway to address various genetic diseases. However, 
its use is not without controversy and ethical considerations. Imagine a tool that allows scientists to precisely edit DNA, the fundamental building blocks of life. CRISPR, clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, is exactly that. It enables scientists to target and modify specific genes with unprecedented accuracy and efficiency. This breakthrough technology has the potential to transform medicine, agriculture, and numerous other fields. One of the most significant advantages of CRISPR is its versatility. It can be employed in a wide range of organisms, including plants, animals, and even human cells. This versatility opens the door to countless possibilities. Researchers are exploring how CRISPR-Ca North by East used to correct genetic mutations that cause inherited diseases. Develop genetically modified crops with enhanced nutritional value or resistance to pests, and even potentially eradicate certain infectious diseases. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and CRISPR is not exempt from ethical concerns. One of the major controversies surrounding CRISPR is the issue of germline editing, which involves making changes to the DNA of reproductive cells or embryos. This raises profound ethical questions about the potential long-term effects on future generations and the concept of designer babies. At what point do we draw the line and say, this is too much? The debate on germline editing is multifaceted, encompassing considerations of safety, consent, equity, and the potential for unintended consequences. The fear of creating a genetic divide between those who can afford enhancements and those who cannot is a valid concern. Additionally, there are concerns about the unintended off-target effects of CRISPR, which could lead to unforeseen health risks. Another aspect of controversy surrounding CRISPR is the concept of gene drive. Gene drive technology aims to spread a particular genetic trait rapidly through a population, potentially altering entire ecosystems. While this could be used to combat pests or eradicate disease-carrying insects, it raises concerns about unintended consequences and the potential for ecological disruption. Despite these controversies, it is important to recognize the immense value and potential benefits of CRISPR. The ability to target and modify specific genes offers unprecedented opportunities for scientific discovery and medical advancements. CRISPR has already shown promise in the development of potential treatments for genetic diseases such as sickle cell anemia and certain types of cancer. To navigate the ethical challenges, robust discussions involving scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and the public are essential. International guidelines and regulations are being developed to ensure responsible use of CRISPR and to establish clear boundaries for its applications. In other words, we are talking about a technology that has the potential to significantly alter the human genome, entire ecosystems, and fundamental aspects of life, in just one, maybe two generations if done effectively. As we stand on the threshold of the future of human enhancement, it is paramount that we grapple with the profound implications of transformative experiences and critically examine our decision-making processes. Only by doing so can we ensure that our choices align with our values and principles. As we conclude our expedition, let us carry these valuable insights with us and embrace the responsibility that accompanies the potential for transformative enhancements. It is through meticulous deliberation and open dialogue that we can confidently navigate the path that lies before us. Thank you for watching. I sincerely hope that it has ignited fresh thoughts and new perspectives within you, and has given you something to think and reflect on. Until we meet again, farewell.